Thank you for joining me. We are doing the astrology for February 2022. We start out this month with the new moon in Aquarius. Once again, the stars point out strong forces that demand that we move into new, the unusual, and look to things with a fresh perspective. We are learning that a world without objectivity is doomed to repeat the terrible events and times of our past. The moon and Saturn bring a sobering and determined drive for finding ways to allow humanity to come together in a greater respect and with a cooperative agenda. Clearly, we need powerful groups to band together to make the changes that our elected officials are not accomplishing. On the third, Mercury shifts direct while it is in Capricorn, and it gives the feeling of trying to grind up seeds and make them into a delicious bread. But the grinding is tedious and frustrating. The tools seem being used are inefficient, and our tolerance seems at a minimum. Figuring out how to express what we are feeling clearly seems terribly hard, and we question whether it is worth it. Things get reevaluated during this month, and while many of the blocks will slowly get roto rooted out eventually, it seems as if we are still trying to stand in stagnant water and we are attempting to move through sewage. I know that does not sound pretty or pleasant. We have to get the toxicity levels down and not feel overwhelmed by the smell of so much distortion and anger. The air will clear by the 24th, but it seems a long way away. On the 14th, Pluto in the North Node will trine. For some, this is just the spark one needs to bring our passionate nature back online. It has been hard to feel connected to a purpose when the world is in turmoil and we are still quarantined in so many new ways that inhibit what we used to do to express and get back into a flow. What is clear is that deep and profound changes are going to have a long lasting impact on the existing systems. The motivation is bubbling up and big changes are on the horizon. On the 16th, there is a full moon in Leo and this puts something that we put on the back burner now in the position of urgency and a loud demand. It might be wise to move on that issue earlier in the month, but we also may not realize what is required until we are right on this aspect. Whatever it is, it's time to move. We can no longer put off what is necessary for the growth to open us to what gives us joy. Do what you need to do, but we may not need to announce it in some grandiose way. Pride can be a downfall in this moment. On the 17th, Jupiter and Uranus will sextile, and while that makes our approaches completely different and starting start, startlingly unusual, it is great for the sheer entertainment value and that ability to get others to see things from a more positive viewpoint. Optimism is favored, but tolerance might be gone. Know that repeating something will drive others crazy, so best not to share that same story again. We are seeking change, but change with activity and tolerance. If someone demands some sort of obligation that limits our own personal self-expression, that will be the signal to exit and not come back. Financially, things will seem brighter, and there is some good luck in the money sectors. There might be a nostalgic ideal and sentimental reflection that wants to pull us backwards. Don't let it. The more we embrace change and the new, the easier it will be on all of us. Jupiter and Pluto will semi-square on the 23rd, making those things we believe we are doing in grace and subtlety feel like a sledgehammer to others. So kicking the tires might make you completely blow the tires out. All things may feel forceful and will lead to more negative responses. Use this moment to recognize that there is much that we still need to learn and while our ambitions are at the forefront of our mind, they do not lead to success if we become a bully and use our power to override another. Forceful behaviors seem arrogant and childish. We are being asked to find faith in the future, but those that repeat the same old crap are boring and such things feel like they are propaganda machines for the mindless. Those that use a megaphone for old ideas now seem ancient, antiquated, out of touch with reality, and to be pitied. And we will look at them with the sorrow of looking at a relative who has dementia. They appear to be someone lost in their own history of times of old, someone out of touch with the reality and the truth, and someone who is no longer effective in this current reality. Thanks, everyone.